bodies where you enjoy reading. I am Teacher Ashley for today's episode of the Developmental Reading Series. Last time, Teacher Levin gave you some strategies in developing vocabulary. Today, we will explore on fluency. So, buckle up! Let us start by defining the word fluency. Fluency is one of the domains of literacy or our ability to read and write. It is an important component of reading development which refers to reading aloud with appropriate speed, accuracy, and expression. A reader is fluent if he or she demonstrates all these three components. Speed, or reading rate as we call it, indicates how fast a learner can read. We often assess this component by recording seconds is spent in reading a text. Learners may be fast readers, but not fluent readers. Some commit mistakes such as mispronunciation, omission, and substitution because of their attempt to demonstrate speed. These readers need to develop the second component of fluency. Accuracy is the ability to read words in a text correctly. In this component, we identify the mistakes committed by the reader and compute for words correct per minute or WCPM. Learners who can read fast with no so little mistakes would be an ideal representation of a fluent reader. However, speed and accuracy are not the only criteria in assessing fluency. Some learners read without emotion. This observation can be learned from the third component of fluency. Expression demonstrates reading with proper tone, pauses, and intonation. Fluent readers show this component by reading as if they are talking. It is spontaneous and expressive because of the appropriate interpretation of punctuation marks. In line with developing fluency, I am proposing the use of SMR strategy. SMR stands for Scoop, Mark, and Repeat. As its name suggests, SMR strategy is a combination of three reading strategies to develop the components of fluency. This strategy will emphasize on expression building, which I believe is the most complex component to remediate. Scoop is a phrasing strategy wherein we group words into meaningful phrases that we utter together. In this strategy, we draw a scoop or a curve line below the words that we are grouping, physically with a pen or mentally. When we do this, we sound as if we are talking rather than reading. This strategy develops expression. The second strategy is marking. Mark is a term I use for punctuation. In this strategy, we can practice intonation by using the different punctuation marks in different types of sentences. This will also cover short and long pauses as well as the tone of voice. This strategy will also develop expression. Developing speed and accuracy will naturally follow in the third strategy. Repeat stands for repeating reading. By this time, the reader should have already mastered scooping and marking so as he could focus on balancing speed and correcting mistakes. In this stage, a reader can monitor his or her own progress. For
For this episode, I will use the SMR strategy to enhance the fluency level of my tutee, Estef. She is an incoming grade 8 learner. Before the intervention, I first assess her oral reading skills using the following computations I adopted from the Philippine Informal Reading Inventory, or Phil Erie, 2018. In the pre-assessment, Steph recorded 13 miscues, 142 word-per-minute reading rate, and 94% accuracy. With these scores, she is categorized as instructional in oral reading or fluency. I also observed the following reading behaviors. 1. Her voice is hardly audible in some parts of the text. 2. She points out to some words with her fingers. And 3. She sometimes disregards some punctuations. To help enhance her oral reading level, I utilize the SMR strategy. During our session, I decided to use her first language, which is Tagalog, so as to build rapport and minimize her nervousness in doing the activities. Here are the sessions we had for the three strategies. Lahat ng
Thanks, Ben. From seven years old, from the strategies, I once again assessed her oral reading skills to see if there are any improvements. I used the same passage from the pre-assessment and followed the same computations. In the post-assessment, Steph recorded 1 miscue, 146 word per minute reading rate, and 99% accuracy. With these scores, Steph is categorized as independent in oral reading or fluency. Observed behaviors in the pre-assessment were also narrowed down. With this, I can say that the SMR strategy is effective in enhancing fluency. So, that's all for today's episode. I hope you learned a lot in developing fluency. Stay tuned for the next episodes of the Developmental Reading Series only here on Reading Buddies where you enjoy reading. This is once again Teacher Ashley. See you next time.